Okay, so now we're gonna do a little demo of the exact same centrifugation system, and it's just for demonstration purposes to talk about RCF values. So here what I have here is the original EBA 200 machine. Here I have the Interspin machine. And one thing you'll notice, of course, is that the machines are exactly the same, there's no difference. When you look actually inside, they're exactly the same. So the geometry, the hardware, everything's the same. Um, this is just a private label, of course, of, of this centrifugation system. Now, one of the things that's interesting is that, um, as we've seen in the literature, there's been a lot of variability and a lot of misreport of RCF values. And one of the things that's always been a little bit confusing uh, to most people working in the field is that people have reported uh, the RCF values of the interest bin at 408 G-force, which is kind of random, and they've created, so to speak, this RCF clot value. When you go back to the original model that you see here, this is 2700 RPM here, when you actually hit the RCF value to give you, and you say report me now, not the RPM, but the RCF, you see here it gets converted to uh, 700 G, so 700 RCF. So again, if I look at this and I click here, 2700 RPM, that displays as 700 RCF, okay? That's standard because internationally we always report the G-force at the RCF max. Now if we go to the interest bin, it's the exact same machine. If I look here, the RPM is 2700 RPM. If I actually hit this RCF value, all of a sudden it displays 408 RCF. So that's where you ask the question, how is it possible that the exact same machine Okay, at the exact same RPM, one of them is di displaying one G-force, the other one is displaying another G-force. Like I said, again, if I click here, 2700 RPM, and I hit the RCF button, all of a sudden it's 408 G, whereas this one here is displaying correctly at 700 G. And I personally believe that because of all the confusion in the field, like I said, when they actually built this model, they built it with a basically recreated G-force and that's what's created a lot of confusion in the field because a lot of researchers that work in the field, when you report RCF values, it's always at the RCF max. And this was the only company that ever started to report at the RCF clod. And for that reason, it's created a lot of confusion in the field. So I thought it'd be fun to do this little exercise so that people can see this. Like I said, it doesn't matter as, as we've highlighted in the slides, whether or not you report at RCF clod or at the RCF max, but it's important to report where exactly uh, that RCF value is coming from. So thank you very much, and we'll see you guys in the next chapter.